She leaving you at home with the kids while she go to the club? Nigga, that's not love. Is there such a thing as true love, really? Because the definition of love is honestly very much up for interpretation based on perspective alone. New videos every Thursday all the way from New York City at 10 p.m. to the UK at 3 a.m. Please stand by. Now, considering that you can love your mom, you can love your pencil, you can love your brother, you can love your sister, you can love your friend. Hell, you can love your side, nigga. There must be different variations and types of love. Some people say true love is the one that you marry and, you know, the one you have kids with, blah, 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 the romantic side. I love my girlfriend and I love my mom. Which one is the true love here? I'd say both of them, but I love them in two completely different ways. So what's my definition of love? I would say that simply love is just attachment. That's it. Hell, you can love your enemy. If you hate someone, that is a form of love. People, the opposite of love is not hate. The opposite of love is indifference. When you just don't care for them, they don't affect you in any way. It takes an amount of effort and attachment in order to hate someone. Even if you have an ex that you don't talk to, they don't affect your literal life, they might affect your brain. You still love them. You might not be in love with them, but there is a genuine love that you have for them because you're attached to this sort of idea that your past experiences make you who you are today. And yeah, you can sit there and say, oh, don't let your past affect your future, but let's get real here, folks. Everything that we go through is part of characterization. Life is a book itself. This is literature. So yes, you can be over your ex. Even if you tell someone I like you, that is a form of love. Anyone that has any kind of influence on your mind Mind becomes attached to you and that is essentially love you get me people are so scared of the word love and are so scared to say I love you because people get the wrong idea of what that means people are just scared that when they find some sort of alternate truth through a person that can alter their perception of what they think is reality saying I love you is saying I'm attached to you you affect my life you have been a catalyst for change in my perspective of how I view life. That's why I say that love is permanent. Love never really dies. Love can evolve. There are people that you can love as a brother and then all of a sudden they backstab you and you'll still love them, but you'll love them as an enemy. You love them as a teacher, as a lesson. So if your ex-boyfriend has had a change in your life, then yes, I'm telling you that you're never gonna stop loving him or any person that you've remembered. There are positive people that might say that the world is run by love. There are negative people that will say that the world is run by hate. Obviously, hate is a form of love because that deals with some sort of attachment to an ideal. Love is so wild beyond limits and people like to put this sort of definition of what love is, something so strict. A lot of people like to say love is when you can't get someone off your mind. Anyone that has been in your life and has affected you as some sort of catalyst for some sort of brain change is always going to be on your mind in some way. That is attachment, that is permanent, that is love. So we got brotherly love, we got family love, we have friendship love, we have enemy love, we have hate. So what is this euphoric feeling that we feel for someone romantically, someone that we gain this sort of unconditional admiration for and someone that we always want to talk to and someone that annoys us so much yet we just can't get rid of them. Someone that we look at our sister yet would have sex and children with. What is this? That is the difference between love and being in love. My girlfriend actually inspired me to make this entire marathon because in just four months, the things that I have learned from her have actually answered questions that I've been having for about half of my life. This is day one of the relationship and love marathon. Tomorrow sparks. What is the difference between being in love and just loving someone?